This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of Dolly Varden Silver, Mr. Sean Kuhn Kuhn. Sean, how are you? It's been a bit. I'm doing fantastic, Gerardo. How are you doing? I am doing well. Thank you very much for asking. You had some news yesterday. I thought it was the perfect opportunity for us to catch up and provide everyone with an update. And so the the headline reads, Dolly Varden mobilizes to commence resource expansion and upgrade drilling at Torbert Silver Deposit and exploration of new priority silver targets. Obviously, the headline is a mouthful, but that's because there is a lot going on after a quiet period publicly anyway, right? Yeah, so let me let me set the uh, the stage here a little bit. Um, the Golden Triangle has been on fire. Uh, you've seen uh, Newmont's acquisition of GT Gold for half a billion dollars. You've seen Yamana uh, come into Ascot. I've never seen the level of interest or activity. Uh, we've got a resurgence occurring. You know, Skeena's up to close to a billion dollar market cap. Ascot's been moving up. Um, you know, the whole area is on fire. What we've done since our last news release is we've been, we've had the busiest off season. Um, we've been completing several studies, uh, engineering studies, um, underground mining studies, uh, geological targeting studies and reviews. We've had the busiest off season. You know, we've we've leveraged our treasury. Treasury. We've got over twenty two million dollars in the bank right now, and we've we've spent that on the science. We've brought in some new team members. We've got just a flurry of activity occurring. And now that the snow's melted, you know, we're we're up at site. The drill's coming in. We've got a big program planned. It's a twofold program. So one fold is focused at the deposit focused at the past producing high grade Torbrit where you know almost 60 million ounces of silver have been identified at super super high grades 18 mm-hmm. of those uh, have been uh, 18 million have been produced uh, there's a big endowment there it's a big wide ore body um, and that's one part of the plan so uh, upgrade that bring some of those uh, inferred ounces into the measured and indicated category. And Gerardo, you've seen this. I've seen this. When you start drilling around a mine, you find more. We saw it last last year where we hit uh, almost 50 meters of over 300 grams of silver. These are, these are massive intercepts. Now, that's exciting. That's intense. But the big prize here is that exploration belt. Hmm. We've got four and a half kilometers. Okay. We've got the targets. Um, and we've got some... Just really, really, really exciting exploration targets we're going to drill. And that's the twofold strategy. You know, grow what we have, upgrade it, move it forward, advance it, uh, get underground. Um, and as we're doing that, look for another Torbert on the property. You know, I, I've got a vision to take this property through 100 million ounces you look at what's happening around the world in places like peru where you're seeing election results uh you know sort of make um you know mining less stable and uh, the the opportunity we have here with our government with our first nations partners the nishka um with the endowment um is, is tremendous and so we're we're looking to exploit that opportunity with a very very aggressive two-phase strategy we've got we've got the targets we've got the endowment we've got the team and uh i'll be i can't wait to come back on the program with some results i'm looking forward to it so just to be clear you're looking to upgrade the inferred resource to a measured and indicated classification and then simultaneously you're also looking for that high reward exploration drilling that the market always rewards when you hit Correct? Correct. But further to that, on the first part of that, around Torbrit, what ends up happening is you end up growing by 20, 30 percent as you go through that upgrading exercise because you start drilling and extending and expanding zones and you incrementally start adding 
to the resource in addition to upgrading your confidence and moving categories. And you know, Gerardo, there's projects out there that look really good on paper. There's projects out there where companies can put a lot of ounces on paper, but they're inferred. And once you go and tighten up those drill spacings, you end up losing ounces. Yep. This is a project that the bulk of our 43101 is already indicated. So we know from tight space drilling that this one holds together. It's not potty. It's, you know, there's, there's continuity. It's amenable to bulk mining methods uh, like, like, um, like, like, like long hauling, hauling. Um, so, uh, you know, this is a project that's uh, it's a tremendous asset. It's really rare in the sense that this is not a zinc mine or a, uh, or a lead mine dressed up like a silver mine. You know, we only report the silver numbers um, and, and, you know, we don't put out equivalents, right? So this is a pure silver play and uh, it's in a tremendous area that's got, you know, you look at uh, SK Creek that, you know, 200 million ounces of 2000 gram uh, <laughs> silver. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Like this doesn't even, that doesn't even sound real. Uh, and that's what our neighbors to the north um, have produced. Um, and then... We've got this gold, and I, don't, I never talk about this, but we've got this gold trend that's coming from our, our neighbor to the west, uh, Homestake Ridge, which is owned by Fury. They've got a million ounces of gold right coming up on our border. We went out to the western part of the gold belt, and where we got this gold trend coming onto our property, and we're finding gold and copper, the two most coveted metals under the sun right now, uh, right on right on our property border. So we're going to drill some holes there on the southern end of that gold belt, in addition to focusing on the high grade silver. So it's 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 going to be a busy season. It's going to be a season that's full of results. And um, and, and with twenty two million dollars in the bank, you know, there's no end in uh, in drilling for 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 years. Sean, I got to say, this is this is probably the most exciting exploration season out of the Dolly Varden Silver Belt um, for a reason for for a multitude of reasons. Right. One, the silver price and where we think that silver price is headed. But, you know, there's there's a lot of real quality work being done by yourself, by Hecla nearby, by others. And so I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to having you back on. You're cashed up. You have the team to do it. You already have a pretty robust resource. And uh, it sounds like you're pretty confident you can add to that. Well, you know what? It's it's because of the team that I have. It's people like Rob McLeod, uh, like Rob Van Egmont, uh, Jody Gibson, Ryan Waymark. It's these scientists that have had, um, you know, successful discoveries, successful sale of companies to larger entities, takeovers. It's because of these scientists that that they're giving me the confidence and it's because of what's been produced and what's there in a 43101 compliant resource. All the targets. This is a hundred year old camp, Gerardo, that every year delivers new discoveries. And uh, at some point, we are going to find another Torbrit. And when we do, you're going to see the same type of share price growth and market cap growth. We've seen others in the neighborhood, companies like Skeena, companies like Tudor, uh, companies like Predium. Um, you know, we are in, we, you know, we're in giant country here and it's reawakening these, uh, these past giants. Um, and, and you've got the grade, you've got the endowment and we've got the team, we've got the treasury. And now, now it's the season where we're going to produce a lot of news, a lot of catalysts. Uh, this is the time. A lot to get to. I'll let you get to it. Thanks again for your time, Sean. Thank you, Gerardo. Thanks for having me on.